Hey, what's going on, people? This is Stephen with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So today we are going to be working on SAS, which is a, I guess, an addition to CSS programming. Um, so if you want to follow along, I would recommend that you check out my previous tutorial where I show how to set up CodeKit, which is going to be the compiling program that I use to compile my CSS file. So I'll have a link. Probably I want to point with my finger, but realize you can't see my hand. Um, it's gonna be right in the center of your screen, so just you can click that and then come back to this. Just just promise me that you'll come back. So let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a pretty cool feature of um, SAS, and that is I guess it's referred to as nested styles. So let's just create something very quick, and I have my font extra big here so your grandma can see it. Uh, what I'm doing is just gonna type out a quick, uh, just a quick unordered list. So UL. And then we'll do li, and then a, let's do href equals nothing. And then inside of here, we'll do testing this out. And let's close that up and close that up. And then let's make a couple copies of that. We'll do three copies, and then we'll close off the unordered list. All right, let me just organize that a little bit better. And if I save this, You'll see that over here it uh, refreshes automatically thanks to CodeKit. And we have this list style right here. So now if I pop over to uh, my .scss file, which is the file that CodeKit will be compressing into this CSS file. Sorry for the confusion. Again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, check out my previous lesson. So in this, uh, we're going to do some nested styles. So ordinarily when you're working with a CSS file you would probably do let's say you want to target this anchor link anchor link right here so normally what you'd have to do is probably go like let's see we'll do ul that would be the first element and then you do ul li then you do your own styles for that then you do ul lia and style that separately so there we go so now to clean this up I mean, this works, this works fine, but that kind of defeats the purpose, purpose of SAS. So to clean this up, I'm just going to leave that up there so it's a reference point. All you have to do is go UL, and in this you can go, let's say you want to make the background gray. Okay, and then let me just add a comment here so you can see what I'm talking about. So say UL, all right. So now inside of here, you can actually just do... Um, li, oops, my bad. Li. So that means uh, that you're targeting this right here. So you just add inside of these brackets, you do li, and you're targeting that. And then you can just do in here um, the style none. And then you can go even deeper, which is pretty crazy. You can go to um, you can even add a inside of here. Oops. And do color white. Save that and you can see what we got right there. So this is pretty cool. This is kind of an extreme example of it, but um, I find this a lot better than doing this. So if we come on over to the CSS, you can kind of see what was made. UL, LI, A. So it does all of this automatically by just doing this. Pretty, pretty cool. So let's, um, let me show you what else is possible. So let's clean this up a little bit. Um, we probably don't need a little, well, all right, I'll just leave it. So inside of here, <laughs> we can do, um, uh, let's do for li, we're gonna do border bottom. Oops. We'll do one pixel solid black. Save that. And you can see it automatically adds these lines on here. So let's say you don't want this line on the last one because you can see it kind of has that weird thing. So let me give this some padding real quick. Five pixels. Okay, so you can see this bottom line is still here. Um, so to get rid of that, normally you write UL LI last child and then in here do the parameters that you want border none or whatever so instead of doing that 
you can just go inside of this bracket for your ally click down a little bit and I'm gonna do this and sign as and means write this and then do this so and last child so in here I'll do border none save that oops you want to write you want to spell it correctly last child save that and you can see it automatically removes it pretty sweet um, and then again if I go over to your C to the CSS you can see it automatically does the uh, all this for you so I find this just a little bit easier for me especially when you're working with a navigation bar you don't have to figure out what order to stack this all into it kinda just makes sense in your head so you'll set you're saying within your UL element you want to target the ally inside of that you want to target uh, the last child or the anchor pretty sweet stuff so hopefully this taught you a little something let me just delete this just to keep this all clean and if you have any questions feel free to post them below and I'm more than happy to answer them so take care and be sure to tune in for the next video